everyone and welcome to my Mean Girls inspired Sims 4 Let's Play. I have actually been working on this idea for a while and I'm really, really excited that it's finally here. But before we get into it, I just wanted to say a couple of things. First, I want this to be like an interactive Let's Play. So please, please, please let me know your thoughts and your ideas down in the comments below. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and let's get into it. Okay, so here obviously we have our Queen Bee. This is Phoebe Dennison. She is our Queen B for this let's play she is the most popular girl in school and let's be honest she is definitely not the nicest girl in school she's actually self-absorbed and an overachiever and honestly if I could add ambitious on there I would um, Phoebe is the type of person who She's a very Blair Waldorf, Regina George type girl, right? So she's really popular, she's really pretty, she comes from a really rich family, and she will do whatever it takes to get whatever she wants. This is the face of somebody who is not afraid to step on other people to get their way. So I guess we'll see what kind of decisions that she makes as we go along, because I have a feeling that they're not going to be the best ones. So here we actually have Phoebe's older brother, Levi. So as you can just tell immediately from the surroundings and everything, Phoebe, oh, I'm in the bathroom. Phoebe and Levi are very, very different people. Levi is actually a genius and he's a bit socially awkward. He's also very ambitious, but he's not quite as fierce as his sister. Also, just as a really important side note, Levi and Phoebe do not get along. They do not like each other. Levi and Phoebe both actually really want to take over their dad's company when they get older. They both want it. They're both fighting for it. They both have different ideas of how to get there. And because of that, they do not want to work together and they do not get along. Speaking of their dad, this is actually him right here. This is Chad Dennison. He owns an up and coming media company. It's starting to make quite a bit of money. And now you can see why Levi and Phoebe both want to take over. All right, this is their mother, Veronica. And it actually seems like she's currently out taking a nap by the pool in her nice business outfit. But honestly, that's pretty typical for her. This is pretty much all you need to know about Veronica. Phoebe, where are you going? Oh my god, she's gonna go fight with her brother. Oh my god, okay. She's going to go yell at him. This is so classic. Uh-oh, he's very dismissive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Phoebe, oh my god, Levi is pissed. They're both so mad. Oh my god. Okay, so Phoebe actually made Levi so mad that he actually came over to visit his girlfriend. This is his girlfriend right here. Her name is Kieran. She is absolutely stunning. Although, as I'm sure you can tell, they're not... I don't know. They're not sitting very close together. I don't know. The vibes are very just, like, friendly. The vibes are not romantic. You know, I actually... Oh. Oh? Okay. Well, I was not expect. Oh. Levi does not seem like he enjoyed that at all. Why does... Okay, that was weird. Meanwhile, here we have Phoebe. She's actually hacked into her brother's computer to try and see if she can find anything that she can use as blackmail against him, against their dad. She really just wants to look good in the eyes of her dad over her brother, except, wait a minute, what's that? Is this Levi's journal? Okay, well, we have to read it. Oh my God, Phoebe is about to snoop in her brother's journal. She's flipping through, she's reading. Oh, it seems like she found something interesting. Phoebe actually reads in Levi's journal that he is not in love with his girlfriend, Kieran, but in fact, another girl that goes to their school named Riley. And you know what? It looks like Phoebe did she just take his jerk? Phoebe? What did she? She just 
she just took his journal. Anyway, what I was going to say... Oh, here she is. She's in her dad's office. Anyway, what I was going to say, she's feeling very confident. Because Phoebe found out that Levi's not actually in love with his girlfriend. He's in love with Riley, another girl that goes to their school. I bet Phoebe is just ecstatic that she found out that information. Look, she's already texting her two best friends, Georgina and Izzy, about it. Look, she's so cocky. She already knows exactly what she's going to do with that information. So Phoebe actually didn't even know who Riley is. So we actually came on Social Bunny. And let's see if we can find her. Oh my god, here she is, Riley Fitzpatrick. This is the girl that Levi has a crush on even though he's dating Kieran. I think we should send her a message. Maybe Phoebe wants to ask Riley to hang out. Maybe, maybe she has a little plan in place. So we're gonna message her. We're gonna message Riley. We're gonna send her a friendly message. We're gonna say, hey Riley, I know we haven't really talked, but I think we should hang out sometime. Riley, what's up, buddy? Girl, you don't even know her, buddy. Okay. All right, so it's the next morning. Let's see if Riley responded to our social media posts. Riley said, Phoebe, have you thought about taking up guitar? I think you'd crush it. Your follower account and you are the same? A big zero? Phoebe? Phoebe, who is that too? Was that to Riley? Oh my god. Okay, well, we're definitely gonna have to confront Riley at school because I wanna hang out with her. We wanna ruin our brother's relationship with his girlfriend, Kieran, and so that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I did actually wanna go ahead and introduce you to Phoebe's best friends. So this, well, Clearly, she's not in a very good mood. This is one of Phoebe's best friends. This is Georgina. If you know, you know. And then we also have her other best friend right here. This is Izzy. Okay, so Riley has been spotted, but you'll never guess who she's sitting with. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. This is Kieran. This is Levi's girlfriend, and it turns out that Riley and Kieran are actually best friends. That is so bad. Also, they have another friend right here. This is Kim. I actually really like this whole friend group, but look. Oh my god, wait. Okay, they were just joking. I was like, oh my god, are the girls fighting? Who the hell is that guy? All right, so it looks like Phoebe is joining their conversation. Where did Kieran go? Interesting. Oh my god. Phoebe, you did not have to be like that. So Phoebe is gonna ask Riley. She's gonna be like, hey Riley, I'm actually having a get-together with some girls tonight at my house if you want to come. Riley. <laughs> Riley is not interested. Did you see that side eye that she's giving Phoebe? Okay. Well, the invitation's out there. The energy is not here. It sounds like it's time to go to class, so we'll see if Riley shows up to the party tonight. So when Phoebe said party, what she actually meant was that she was inviting her best friends over in. We'll just see if Riley shows up, right? Oh my god, you guys. Riley showed up? Oh, they're both getting up to give her their seat. Okay, oh, thank nice boobs. Oh my god, you guys. I cannot believe that she showed up. They all seem to be getting along really well. They're like hanging out. They seem like normal. Do you think Riley's updating her friends? Like telling them all the shit that's going down at this hangout right now? Oh, they seem like they're having a good time. Okay, let's have them take some pictures. We're gonna take a picture with Riley. How do I take a picture? Do I have to do it through my phone? You'd think I'd never played The Sims before. What's on Social Bunny? Hold on. Veronica, listen to these old folks telling us they couldn't get out of the pool without a ladder. Hit the gym. Girl, what are you talking about? Why did you send this to your mom? Oh my god, Kieran said, Phoebe, I'm so happy I have a friend like you. Kieran, we're actively trying to mess up your relationship. Also, you're not in our friend group. Not to be like this, but that helps us out. Okay, let's actually take a picture with Riley. Let me figure out how to take a photo with Riley. Oh my God, wait. 
This is kind of messed up. So like I mentioned, Phoebe is trying to ruin Levi and Kieran's relationship, right? Because she wants Levi to look bad. She wants Levi to look like he broke up with his girlfriend for this new blonde girl who is friends with his girlfriend. Like that's kind of like, okay, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of messed up that he likes his girlfriend's best friend and didn't say anything. But Phoebe obviously is gonna take advantage of that. So let's take some pictures, commemorate our experience. But I, I mean, genuinely, don't they seem like they're getting along though? Like aside from that, look, they like seem to be getting along. Girl, why are you looking at that's making your face look like that? And just like everything else Miss Phoebe does, we know obviously that she did not invite Riley here just to be nice to her. Phoebe is not the type to just be nice, is she? So, Phoebe's saying, so Riley, what do you think about my brother? And Riley's like, your brother? What about your brother? And Phoebe's like, well, I don't know. Don't you think he's like cute? She's like, well, he's dating my friend. He's dating Kieran. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything about that. I mean, they're they they're together. They're cute. I support their relationship. Like, I'm not gonna talk about him. Phoebe's like, well, I'm just asking. Like, it's just a joke. Like, do you think he's cute? Like, would you wanna like kiss him? This is weird. Like, this is her brother, right? Oh, so Riley is not interested in this conversation. Okay, it looks like she's just playing it off as a joke. Oh. Oh, sh okay, okay. I thought Riley was trying to fight her. No, it seems like they're getting along, even despite, oh Jesus. It seems like they're getting along, even despite the uh, awkward conversation topic. This is, this is the most disturbing thing I've seen in a long time. I like these two just sitting over here, like letting this happen. They're fully aware of this plan right now to ruin like Levi's day. Like they're definitely her Phoebe's minions but they're just like letting this happen. Do you think that they're like jealous that she's trying to invite Riley into the friend group and she's like not giving them any attention? Like, look, these two are just like having their own conversation over here and these two are just literally standing here. All right, so here we are in Riley's room. It's actually later that night, that evening. Oh my God, Kim looks like she is in a bad mood. Kim, are you okay, girl? She does not seem like she's having a good time. Anyway, Riley has just gotten home from Phoebe's party, and of course she's gonna update her friends on every single thing that happened. We've all been there, right? So she's telling them, like, you know, I actually had a good time. We actually seem to get along pretty well. They seem to be really nice. There was only one weird thing that happened. Oh, what was it? What was the weird thing that happened? I bet, I bet she made you try on all her clothes and she was trying to show off all of her money to you. I mean, Phoebe is just so dramatic, right? She's over dramatic. She's like, no, no, they were super nice. We got along well. I was actually genuinely surprised. But the one weird thing that did happen was that Phoebe kept asking me about her brother. Her brother, Kim said. Do you see the way she looked up from her phone? Her brother. Yeah, she kept asking me if I liked her brother, if I wanted to date him. It was really weird. Oh my God, Kieran is pissed. She is not happy about that. She's like, why was she asking you about that? I'm dating him. Why was she asking you if you like him? Phoebe's like, I have no idea. I don't know. I told her that I didn't like him, obviously. Kieran seems satisfied with that answer, but something tells me that she... There's something in her eyes that's telling me that she's maybe a little bit more worried than she's letting on. Yeah, it kind of seems like maybe they're all a little on edge after this conversation. Maybe she shouldn't have brought up that Phoebe asked her that. Maybe that was a bad idea. Look, she just rolled her eyes at Kieran! Oh, they're in a fight. Okay, so it's actually the next morning and our girls are spending some time out at the pool. I think that they're, you know, just relaxing. Although I have a feeling that the conversation topic of Riley is about to come up. So Georgina's like, yeah, our conversation with Riley didn't exactly go as we planned yesterday, but it seemed like we all got along. I'm sorry we couldn't figure anything out about Levi though. Oh, oh. They switched spots. Izzy's like, yeah, you know, I really liked her. I thought she was really nice, you know? I think, I don't know, she seems sweet. Phoebe's like, yeah, but the whole point of the conversation was to try to get her opinion on Levi. And we didn't get that opinion. She didn't even want to talk about it. 
Well, maybe we should invite her over today and you can ask again. You want me to invite her to our pool party? And they're both like, yeah, we think you should invite her over. She was really nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and invite Riley over to hang out, to join us at our pool party. They have a sauna in there. Hold on. I'm sorry. I just realized that they have a sauna in the basement of this house. And oh my gosh, here she is. Riley actually showed up to our pool party. Oh my gosh, wait, they kind of look like an iconic friend group. I'm kind of living for it. Okay, these two seem to get along really well. Like, look how animated Phoebe's being. I feel like she... I don't... I'm getting the vibe that... Riley just kind of fits in their group. Riley, what are you thinking about over here? What are you... Oh, oh, where are you going? Okay, first of all, you did not have to put that ugly ass swimsuit on. Second of all, you did this for what? You literally did this for what? Like, for what? Like, I was trying to set up the shot and like, you did this for what? Again? Again? Riley, don't you know that at girl pool parties, we don't actually get in the water? They're not trying to play mermaids, Riley. So, Riley, oh my God, Riley, I literally, I am going to have a, a fit, Riley. I'm gonna have a fit. Get out of the freaking water. Okay, if Riley wants to be in this ugly swimsuit so bad compared to her other swimsuit, we'll just let her have it. Okay, back to the plot. So Riley, no, I mean, I know I invited you here, but like, we kind of didn't think that you were gonna show up, right, right? See, they're all like, yeah, we didn't think that you were gonna show up. Riley's like, well, you know, last night I hung out with some of my friends and I just realized that I had a lot of fun yesterday hanging out with you guys. So I decided to, I decided that I should come. Oh my God, Georgina, you are so dramatic. Riley is like, thanks for inviting me. Phoebe's like, actually, I have something I need to talk with you about. Um, do you think you could come up to my room for a minute? Okay, sure. She's probably like, what the hell? I'm scared. I'd be scared to, if Phoebe Dennison came up to me and was like, I need to talk to you in private, I'd be fucking terrified. Phoebe's like, you know, I just wanted to say that like, I'm sorry if we got up on the wrong foot yesterday while I was asking you about my brother. Oh, Riley was like, girl, it is totally fine. I wasn't offended. And Phoebe's like, thank you, you know. I was a little worried. I was just asking because he made a comment and you know, I, I thought I would just, I would just ask. He's like, he made a comment. Okay, well, I don't like your brother. I don't want to date your brother. And Kieran actually really likes him, so. And Phoebe's like, well, Kieran really likes him, but we'll see about how that plays out. <laughs> Riley's just like, yeah. <laughs> That is all I actually have for this part. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was a little chaotic. I've never done anything like this before. And I've been thinking about this idea for a while. So I've kind of just put it together the way that it is in my head. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave your ideas or your um, storyline plot ideas down in the comments below. We can write this story together. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Phoebe changes her ways. Let's see if maybe Riley turns to the dark side. Let's see who gets together. Let's see what happens. It's gonna be so exciting. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of this. I just want to say thank you again. I know I've said it like five times, but thank you for watching. And I will see all of you in the next one. Okay, bye everyone.